brother, my kids, I always loved dearly, but something was, it was something I wasn't doing right for him to remove them from me, not abusively or something, it was just something that within me. So I went through all that, through the drugs, um, I start losing myself, like, forget it. I y'all gone, ain't nobody gonna take care of me. I'm, I'm done, literally, out here, like. So I start getting high, running off, didn't care about nothing. But something just snapped and said, hold up, you know, I need you. Something's going a little too far. So now I'm with family where I really don't want to be, which this part of my family never loved me, never showed me support or help, and I ended up in their home. So now I have to accept, I'm, I'm learning acceptance, respect, I'm learning to um, bear things. If y'all can't understand what I'm trying to say, I'm carrying my cross. It's like, but now like I cross over because I look at things differently. Now I don't want to run off and just go, hey, I want my house, I want my life, I'm tired. So I guess I've carried my cross to where I'm starting to become new. Hey. 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 You become, you ain't new, you becoming it. And I, I meditate that on that all day. I, I went to sleep with that on my mind. I woke up. I got to looking at different things about becoming. He didn't say I was new, he said you becoming it. So I'm saying to carry your cross, you got to carry your cross to be who he said you are. Jesus had to carry the cross so I could have what? Life, everlasting life, and eternal life. And we as people got to get in a place to realize your cross is sometimes is your past. Amen. But you got to carry that past until God what? Uh, what say? Bring you to the purpose that he had called you out of that past life to your newness life. So you don't allow what said your cross sometimes will be what people don't even believe in you. Yeah. It's all different crosses. I, I just want to, I think once we can realize that, that, that the enemy can't come in and begin to bring, uh, what say, a discord between you and me. Amen. Or uh, anything. In the body. Amen. I, I, I just read the, I, the harvest is ready, y'all. Amen. And it's ready to pick. Mm -hmm. And the enemy knows it's ready to pick, so he don't want us to what? To tow out crawl. Because y'all got some folks, y'all got to minister to and bring in. Amen. Amen. So we got to what? We becoming it. Becoming. New, you becoming it. You ain't new yet. No. You becoming it. So told what? Your cross. Your cross. Told it. I thank God I don't have to tote that no more. Amen. <laughs> I got that. Amen. I got that cross. So you knew. Amen. So let's go back. Let's go back to Matthew ten. Let's see what Jesus is going to tell us when we don't tote our cross. I mean, the people missing it. All right. All right. Matthew 10. Matthew 10. Yeah, Matthew 10. I want you to read 32 and 33. And I'm going to show you two, another seven, then, and I got another verse, I have 38, I need to go down to that. All right. Matthew 10, mm -hmm. start at verse 32. Whoso, whosoever, therefore, shall confess me before men, him will I confess also be before my Father, which is in heaven. Okay. Let me show you. He said, whosoever, therefore, shall confess me before men. Him will I confess also before my Father, which is in heaven. So I got to be able to kill my cross so I'll be able to what? Confess. confess. Yeah. Some people, 
said they are believers, but they don't confess it. So they not what? Can they? I told my cross when I want to talk. Mm -hmm. That's where the body is today. We ain't confessing the Jesus as we should, so we're not fully carrying our cross. Jesus not going to confess you <laughs> to the Father when you had carried your cross. Right. I, I, I got scripture behind. Amen. So he's saying, what you confess of me is going to be of your kingdom. Hey, ooh, Jesus. You confess me, you're going you to have salvation. Amen. If you confess me, you have the newness. If you confess, confess me. Confess, believe me. If I, I put confess it, you know him. If I go come to your house and you ain't know me, you ain't confessing that you know me. Amen. See, a lot of people don't confess him. Mm -hmm. They don't confess. They don't confess that he is who he is. He is the Son of God. They don't confess him when they took him out of the school. Yep. They ain't confessing him. So, hallelujah. Just like that man was on the cross, one confessed him, the other one did. Amen. Amen. So we need to what? Confess him. Through any situation you in, carrying your cross, you still have to confess him. Amen. Confess. Hallelujah. I like that. Whoso, he said that whosoever. So that could be anybody. Amen. Thou folks shall confess me before me. Him will I confess also before my Father, which is in heaven. So I don't care whoever it is. If I believe in Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, I'm going to confess him. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. A lot of people won't confess that they know Jesus. Get around your friend. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's true. You have to be in a place that you confess him no matter what. Mm -hmm. Amen. Look at verse 33. But whosoever shall deny me before men. See? He's showing us. Him yeah. will I also deny before my father. So if you deny him, he's going to deny you before the father. Mm -hmm. so, I don't want to be what? Denied. I don't want to be denied. Amen. And now the situation, the way life is not going on, we are in these days. A lot of believers going to be in and going to be denied because they are not what confessing him. Because he's looking at how you are reacting towards him. Okay, if he your supply, if you're not, he said, come to me. If you're not coming to him. How are you going to get what you need? Because mm -hmm. I'm not coming to the leader. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> I'm not coming to one that got my needs. Amen. So I, I find other things. So I done laid my cross uh -huh. down. So I ain't crossed over when a situation in my life come up. And, and, and I can't, I can't bear it. Mm -hmm. And he said, "For you confess me." He said, "Take my yoke. My yoke is easy, and my burdens are light." If I don't lay my cross down, so I don't, I ain't confessing it. So my cross laying over here, and I'm told my own burdens. Mm -hmm. A lot of Christians are told their own. I said, that's why we're so stressed out because yeah. we're carrying our own burden. Yeah. We're carrying our own burden. We see life as the world sees. Mm -hmm. See, that's what the man was looking at. He's like the Pharisee and Strive. He's on the cross. He's picking at Jesus just like they were dying there. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. Now, he was in. 
to cross over. I got to took my cross to cross over. I can't deny the cross. Amen. The cross is the main thing that brings forth the grace of God in my life. <laughs> yes. That's why I, uh, <laughs> that's why when my children was taken away from me, everybody, you know, all my so-called friends, when I shared the kids, they took their kids, they did it. But that was an act. Somebody did that to me out of evilness, but it turned out for good. That was, God did that because my kids, I wasn't an abusive parent, but I was in a situation I had nine kids. I couldn't, I couldn't provide out for all them kids like I should have been. Yeah, we had shelter. Yeah, we had food. Yeah, we had clothes. But it was things far beyond that. Like now, they where they at? But they doing good in school. They their mental status is way better. Mm -hmm. They're respectful. They in sports and this and this and that. Mm -hmm. So everything that's done for evil, you know, I say God had his hand in that the whole yes. time. Yes. And once I get myself back like I'm supposed to be, mm -hmm. my kids is going to come back to me. Yes. God, they're going to be sent to me. He gave them to me, and I had to, he had to take them back for a while. Yes. But his hands is on them, and I know that and me. So everything that was supposed to turn out so bad, really this was the work of God. Yes. Really. Yes. Yes. So it's what, that your cross that you got to bear, you're told it. And the main thing, toting your cross, is to confess that I done jacked up. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So toting your cross. cross. First step. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank God. Okay, we jump down to verse 38. Same chapter, but verse 38. And he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. <laughs> so he telling him. And he that take not his cross mm -hmm. is not worthy. That's something to think about. That's deep. When I saw that, that was deep. A lot of people are sitting up in the church, out the church, going to church, but they haven't picked up that cross. And he that take not his cross, don't take it. That means you don't take nothing. Right. <laughs> you got to learn to what? Take it. You got to take that. So that's what builds you up in Christianity. He didn't say uh, this road was going to be easy. He didn't say that. But he yeah. said, when you take on my name, you're going to be persecuted. Yeah. You're going to be hated. Yeah. They're going to despise you. Yeah. All these things shall be. But at the end, you're going to be able to sit at the kingdom, at the king yeah. table, and judge the whole nation. Amen. Amen. See? That's why I always say the end, that's why the, the enemy don't know all of this. No. <laughs> Only way he know it all when you get in your flesh. Get in yourself and lay your cross down. Yeah. Then he can come in and make you miss. That, that kingdom of what God has planned for you, so you told that cross. Amen. Amen. I think, oh, I can just imagine what mine gonna look like. Amen. Cause if you carrying your cross, you just about tell how big weight you, how much you done told it, and, and you done bear it. You just about tell, ooh, I'm doing good. I got a, I got, I got a team. You know how you go to the doctor office and they show you what pain you have. <laughs> Uh, at the rate of it. <laughs> so you about to tell by how big how big pain you care and you it over you can overcome and it don't overcome you. Mm -hmm. It don't change you and don't change your way of looking, the way you act towards people, how you care your life. Mm -hmm. Boy, boy <coughs> you got boy, you got a crowd. You got dying talk about the Rubens. Yeah. I ain't I she had me think I ain't I ain't no more talking about no dying. I want a ruby. <laughs> Sapphire. Yes, yeah, sapphire. That's yeah. sapphire. Yeah. See, you you can show how what your 
you know, you're crossing. Ooh, I hope I'm making sense of this tonight. Because I, I feel like God ready to build his army. Mm -hmm. And he's going to put them all in order. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we can, what, bring in who God wants to bring into the kingdom. Because there's a lot of people ready to come in. Yeah. But Amen. we got to be able to show them that I can bear my cross. You can bear it too. And I thank God. The young lady. When God ordained, she came Amen. to the church and God just, she saw the cross <laughs> and she came falling and picked up her cross. Amen. Come on, that's what he wants you to do is take your cross so somebody else will pick up their cross. Because you can tote yours, then I can tote mine. Amen. That makes sense. Yeah. Y'all see, so y'all worthy. Yeah. You're worthy. Amen. So if nobody else don't think I'm worthy, I know I'm worthy. Amen. Come on, see, you got me like that, don't you, cross? Amen. I'm worthy. I'm worthy, my cross. I'm worthy. I made it. <laughs> See, oh my God, my God. I couldn't go down there 39, but I didn't put that on the book. Okay. So we got to confess it. Don't deny it. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, let's go over here to Luke 14 and 27. 14. I like how you encourage and just let us know. So, I mean, so, some, okay. so some things that, that you may have went through, I'm making sure I'm understanding it. Uh -huh. It can come <coughs> around to you mm -hmm. going through it, but when you have a different mindset of it mm -hmm. and you stay in prayer, you, you carry in your cross because yeah. it's, it's like how you're going to respond to right. it. Right. You can't keep carrying your cross. Then when you get to the end of that thing and don't fake it no more, mm -hmm. you can overcome that. So you, you don't, you don't come in the place that God that gave you a ruby in your crown. Amen. Amen. So when the enemy come around to you again with that same thing, mm -hmm. you Amen. The cross, you be throwing the cross up. Amen. <laughs> it won't be affecting. It won't change your character. It won't change your uh, uh, way of thinking, the way of acting <coughs> when you around your enemies. What if you think that, what if your attitude has changed? Okay. And what I mean by that is saying like, <laughs> what if somebody... Well, somebody may say being smart mouthed, mm -hmm. something that you may not have said before, you just blow out this time. Mm -hmm. Is that still me growing in that, or is it? You get in a place, okay. You get in a place where you can hold your mouth hold your and keep your mouth and let the Lord fight your battle. Mm -hmm. Then you growing. You, you can your cross. That's right. Okay. And if God tell you say something, you say something. But if God don't give you nothing to say, you keep your mind, hold your peace, and let the Lord fight your battle, then he will be your vengeance. He will show. Mm -hmm. So that means you done got in the place that you can keep your peace. Amen. You can keep your peace. Yes. He said, my peace I give to you. My peace I leave with you. And when you can't keep your mouth, then you ain't carrying your cross. Right. Sometimes you have to say yay and nay. That's crazy because <laughs> to that, you know, every day we got we got some special folks that come through where I work at. So, you know, they be talking sick. I still be smiling and excited so much today. This man that took it all left. They called me a liar. I almost came over the camera on him. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, you know, about to call me a liar. Uh -huh. I know what I did. Yeah. But I don't know what it is, but I've been taking it. People have messed with me since last week. Okay. But today, that liar and all of the other mess, she and her, uh-uh, all of me. I did the Lord wrong people. <laughs> so <laughs> look, bro, I know what you said today. Yeah, I, see, but, see that, that, right, uh, but then it lets you see what else you haven't got over yet. That's a play yet. 
that yeah. you haven't got in that mature that you haven't released to God yet. Now he said, angry but sin nah. not. Yeah. You're gonna get angry. Feel. Hold it. But he said, don't sin not. You know how much he know how much you can bear. Yeah. So you got to learn. If something keep coming up like that, so you need to watch. That I'm not there yet in that area. Amen. So God gonna work on me some more in that area. So next time somebody else gonna come a little bit more pressure than the one that you dealt with that day. So that means the cross is much more heavy to the place that he can press. You see, thank you, you don't look over this way. He told me that. Okay, you know, a wine barrel, you know, when they do mat, they walk and match and the wine present. Okay. That's where things come upon you. He pressing it out you. Amen. Amen. The first pressing. To the place that you don't have no more in you. just shut down. You know, you know when he tell you to shut down. So, that, that, so when it get like that, that means he's he pushing it out of you. So in the place that you can carry. Think about Jesus when you're on the cross. He didn't say a mama word. Some things we got to learn. And I've learned because I think I, I am becoming new. Because my uncle, you know, he could say, somebody, I don't know if it was you telling me, but Miss Bonita, like, a person that keep pressing and pressing that button that knows that it gets to you. And so I'm at a point now, so much peace and so on the inside of me. When he came to me today, I just looked up and I said, Uncle Billy, why he keep picking on me? You know, he was expecting me to, because I'm coming up. <laughs> I'm coming up, because he was expecting something totally different. But I just said, why do you keep picking on me? Only thing he could come back at me with, I'm sorry, I do be picking on you. Amen. I do be picking on you. You know, you the only girl, you this. No, that's not an excuse. Quit picking at me. Amen. You know, and he couldn't say nothing rude because he, I, I changed. I, it was, I came to him a totally different way than I normally do. That's where, that's where he's trying to teach us how to carry the cross. And he, the, he know what's inside of you. Like I take myself as a, to, the way I am, a lot of people think that I'm a, I, I'm a guppy. I'm a fool. But this is where he made me. Well, I'm saying, I'm saying food that I'm taking a whole lot, but he press me that way. So in that is he teaches me how to live a certain way that you can see what I'm living that okay if Sarah can do this then I can get in that position too. Because I I I never forget when when the Lord gave me that word, vengeance is mine, whatever right I pay. Mm -hmm. And when the being ran out with all that stuff of mine, yeah. I, I kept my peace, I prayed, <laughs> I kept it before the Lord. The Lord, you said vengeance is mine, whatever right you pay. I did just what God told me to do, how God told me to do it, yeah. and he brought it right on back. Yeah, and in the midst of that, God binge me. And when he come back around, I grinned and laughed, treated him nice. And I kept saying, Lord, why yeah. this thing keep repeating to me? Yeah. Yeah. Keep repeating. Mm -hmm. I said, Lord, and I learned when it's time for me to God to bless me. Mm -hmm. See, I, I caught the revelation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I caught the revelation. Mm -hmm. Every time it was time for me to get blessed, he come right back around, and I miss it. Amen. But this time, Amen. <laughs> when it came back around this time, I did miss it. Amen. And when I laid there in the bed, I never forget that Wednesday night, Wednesday morning, by, by 3 o'clock, and this is the truth, it just like something shattered in my head, you know, glass shattered, and it like hit my brain like a pain, and like it just, the old stuff just, and like it couldn't, I couldn't put nothing back. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. And, and now I'll be calling you. <laughs> and I made you say, I, I finally told it that cross. Amen. And it don't fit me. Amen. I hope I'm making sense. This thing is good. Amen. I might need to preach this for something more down there. Amen. Amen. It, see, a lot of stuff needs to shout in our brains. Amen. So we can become negative. Yes. So now I don't become new. Mm -hmm. I still got some more now. I, but that era I don't become mm -hmm. old. Now, hope I my see that. The husband I'm supposed to have. Oh my Come on. Amen. So now I defeat that old lady. I wait on the Lord put him right there. Right there. Thank you, Jesus. I have not cross that. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I find that sin. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus, for the crossing over. over. Come on, this, so you can live what God really got to cross over. over. Yeah. Took that cross mm -hmm. and rejoice and watch God. Amen. Amen. Thank Jesus for my cross. You know, I'm excited for mine. I, Amen. Whew, glory to God. Amen. <laughs> On my See now you really know do. that. I really do know. Yeah. So now you need you you say you need to now you don't need to release your attitude to the Lord. Amen. So He will know how to work on your attitude because right. He know how much to put on you to get rid of the attitude. Amen. So don't you do it. Let Him do God. He know how. He said, "Come unto me, all the heaven laden, and I will." So he know who to sin, what to sin, to bring you to that place. Yes. Amen. 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 And watch. And you'll become new where he wants. All right? Amen. See, because Lena, Lena got supervised, so something else going to come to Lena. <laughs> so now they call her life. Amen. Now she can overcome that. Yeah. You no, know, tell him what God got next. Amen. I thank God. So we go through this process. Jesus went through a process before he could bear the cross. He had to go through a process. We all going through process. Process. But in the process, you can't lay your cross down. You got to keep making the process. When Jesus was told me going to go on to my care my care, when Jesus couldn't care no more, that was somebody else to finish telling me. Amen. Mm -hmm. But he cared it. Mm -hmm. He cared his cross. Mm -hmm. And you got the power in you to carry <coughs> your cross. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You had it. It just allow it to come forth to manifest. Mm -hmm. And it manifests in time and season. Mm -hmm. Thank God for the season. See this October here now. Yes. This is another month. Amen. Another season. Maybe it just hit me. Um, and literally it just hit me. I'm going to take you back about three weeks. We were, we were going to the post office or somewhere. And I said, I don't understand, Pastor God. I said, I'm going to let some things happen to tear you down so I can build you back up again. So it was time to what? Tear you down? Yes, Told your crime, be you, or you going to stay down? Yeah. Or get up? Thank you. Thank you. Donna McCullough said, we fall down and get up. Yes. How many? See, Jesus knows that you're going to fall. Right. He's able to pick you up where the sin come in when you don't get it. Yeah. And that's when the battle is lost. Mm -hmm. See, when, what I mean by don't get up, you don't, you, y'all see where it's going when folks don't come to church, they don't, they just lose focus and they let everything get in their way. Mm -hmm. They get the mind, get blinded, they look at things crooked and crazy, you know. I'm just saying different things, all right. Mm -hmm. We get out of the way 
that the enemy try to get you in a way that he can pull you away <coughs> and, and instead of you keep pressing your way. Amen. 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 Okay. Let's go to Luke 14. I should, wait, wait, before you do that, let me get you down. I mean, I mean, will you read 20, 20, I'll, I'll go back, go back to Matthew 30, uh, 10, and I want you to read uh, uh, 39. I mean, I'll turn it too quick. I wasn't going to do it, but the Lord told me to go back. <laughs> so I want you to see what we're losing. Thank yeah. you, Holy Ghost. Yeah. Okay, let me get on that too. Okay, read 39, then, I, then we go go. He that findeth his life shall lose it. Say he that, so if I'm trying to do it myself, I'm losing. Yeah. How many, look how many people losing. Yeah. When you're trying to find your own life, yeah. you're losing it. Mm -hmm. And he that loses his life for my sake shall find it. You find life in him. But if you try to do it yourself, you lose it. Mm -hmm. Discouraged. Disappointment. Mm -hmm. You lose it. Mm -hmm. And how many people are losing? They losing hope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, you, you lose. Look. You think about that. You lose your joy, mm -hmm. health, mm -hmm. strength. Mm -hmm. You lose it. Mm -hmm. When you're trying to live your, find your own life, Mm -hmm. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And I am the true vine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Praise God. Y'all see now? Yeah. I, I ain't going to be a loser. Amen. I'm going to let it. Come on. I'm going to hold my cross, y'all. Amen. I'm going to hold on my to my cross. cross. <laughs> All right, go to Luke 14 and 27. The way you see Luke 14, verse 27. And he so Luke 14. Go to Luke. And Luke. Okay, verse uh 27. 27. And who and whosoever do is not bear his cross and come after me can cannot be my disciple. Mm -hmm. You can't even be a disciple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And whoso does not bear his cross and come after me cannot, he said he will, cannot be my disciple. Amen. So I need him to what? Teach me the purpose that he have it for me in this kingdom, dying on earth, because the kingdom is in the earth realm. Amen. So in the kingdom of God is dying here. So he got a purpose for me dying here to build his kingdom. So if I don't build his kingdom, I ain't even... I'm not in the sight. I ain't doing that. So I'm not his sight. So that let me know that if I don't cross over, I can't get the reward that he said I'm supposed to have here on the earth. Heaven's supposed to be right down here on the earth for me. A lot of people trying to go to him, but it ain't it's down here. And we missing our heavenly ram down here because we're not bearing our cross. If I don't bear, I don't know what my purpose is. Amen. See, uh, Terry finna be bearing her cross now, and she got to trust God, believe God, and when she come through this, God gonna show up purpose. Amen. Amen. Yes. Michelle, same thing. Y'all know y'all got the government there. Now this is where God using y'all in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. It's some unsaved folks in there. Amen. Now y'all mama and more they mama. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they can't see the glory of God in you. Amen. See when you go, you gotta go right tomorrow. Go in there like you get the payday, cause Jesus said, "Where they run, I pay." Don't go in there and tell him. Don't get in the car and say, "We good. What we gonna do?" Mm -hmm. You know, we we working here, and then we ain't got that day. You know, they gonna come and start talking to you. You gonna be the first one, and you see what he gonna say, mm -hmm. and they gonna wait. Say, now she coming back, and she believed in in the cross. 
and take my character, my joy, my peace, these things from me that were in, what say, give me the interjection right. to, to move forward. You know what I'm The energy to get up in the day. I didn't have any, but I laid there. I laid, mm -hmm. I laid there, I laid there, and I didn't start getting the energy to later on in the evening, but I enjoyed the moment that I didn't allow too many people talk to me, mm -hmm. to Amen. pull for me, Amen. so I could be able to come tonight. Now, I'm back energized. Amen. Amen. See, thank God my cross a little heavy, Amen. Yes. but I endured that way I went to. Amen. 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 I thank God for it tonight. Amen. I just praise I God. God that again, and I, I'm seeking God. I, I believe it's the enemy uh, where my schedule is just so constantly heavy on Tuesday. I don't care what goes on, how much I complete. Seems like come 4 o'clock, just everything drops mm -hmm. up. Like, okay, but I, you know, I was caught up, I'm busy, and I'm dealing with three people. And I heard the Holy Ghost said, this business is well. But what's gonna keep you? And I didn't get a chance to finish. I shot I said, I gotta go with you. It was looking at me so crazy, but I was like, mm -hmm. I am in a phase of my walk with God in business where I can't play with the foundation. Mm -hmm. I can't allow it to become weak. You know? Yeah. So I just thank God that I not only heard, but I was obedient to act. Because there's many days when I feel like, Lord understands. She knows I'm busy. I could just tell God was saying, baby, this thing is ready to hit. And so you the cross, <coughs> if you're not care how to know how to carry the cross in the area that he wants you to carry in, you you will miss the part of the kingdom that you should have got at that time. Yes. And see, that's what God is trying to get us in the place to know the difference how to carry your cross, mm -hmm. to cross over, mm -hmm. to cross over. Because people will keep you from crossing oh, over. Amen. 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 Thank God for my cross over. Oh, Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. We just give God the glory for it. Amen. Amen. So nothing else. We're going to get ready to get out of here for the crossing over. Oh, Diane's daughter really had a, Diane told me it was really exciting to her engagement. Amen. Amen. They said people were crying and hollering, <laughs> saying, jumping and hollering, said they just had a one. Amen. Oh, so it was real nice. She said she gets a picture, she's going to send it to me. Amen. Amen. It was a beautiful engagement. Amen. You know, I, I feel like as you talked about that just a little bit before you mentioned it, Vanessa. Uh, I just feel like her daughter, the season in which it's occurring, because there's some women that are waiting on husbands and know that has a plan. Like she's kicking it off for everybody. She did. And I, I really do. I, I feel. Amen. That. I thank God. I tell you, God is doing a great thing. Yes. I just praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I want to ask all my new fam family to uh, keep me in your prayers just for my strength, for my thrive. Amen. I need, I need constant prayer because I know I'm not there yet. I'm just at the tip. I'm just, I just at the tip, but I want to continue. So I think uh, all my saints and my family Amen. around me can keep me up in prayers yes. that my thrive will continue. Amen. And I don't want to stop at this point because I feel something great. I feel something great. I feel different. I don't know if nobody right. ever been somewhere that they just feel mm -hmm. different. If you try to do something, I'm starting yes. to enjoy it. Be happy on the inside, smile on the inside, as well as I didn't smile for a long time. I'm smiling on the inside. Thank you this what I look yeah. like. Oh, I'm trying to be happy on the and inside. And I, that's I what it's all about. Whole again. Just keep me up in prayer. And if y'all miss another thing, I'm moving to this little piece of house. So if y'all know anybody, y'all, that's got anything they want to throw away or they want to give, I don't care if it's a towel, a sheet, a bachelor, whatever. I'm going to take it, okay? Amen. So there's an agency called My Father's House. Uh, and I heard about another place. Uh, we'll furnish your house from top to bottom, front oh, to back. I can't no think of any of this place that told me what I'm going to call it. And I don't know because I tried to let, I was going to let Idella use, but, you know, anyhow, I will see, uh, 
I don't know because they're making such a huge donation for the bedding and stuff to mindset now. I don't know if I apply for somebody individual like that. You know what I'm saying? If they're mm -hmm. hinder with um, I'm going to check and if not, if they will allow my okay. ministry to be used. We'll see about the church and if not, I know that I can get you through uh, Sister George's. Yeah, yeah. I know. I've been being down here. They got some nice stuff. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. They we, think you went down there and bought us now. They got some nice stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I will check tomorrow if you'll call me. I called you today. I did. Sister, I tried to call you. You heard? You, heard today. you didn't hear my message? No. I left your message early today. but Sister, I check messages twice a day. I don't know. The what I'm second time, I don't check until night. When okay. I'm I apologize. No, no, no. Thank you, Jesus. But it's gonna work out. So y'all, y'all got some towels and sheets y'all can spare. Get out, and pull them out, bring them to us. Sunday we dishes, whatever. Amen. Bring it to the sister, help the sister out. Amen. Amen. We just thank God. Amen. God got a plan, y'all. Y'all just follow the plan. Just stay, stay focused. And Boochie said, stay focused. Focus. <laughs> Amen. Stuff that's in the closet, the microwave, the stereo, where they all that stuff in that closet. I said, Somebody will need one day. Yes, there she is. 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 There on the back of somebody crawl and wherever she need to pray that she can. Amen. 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 When she get her house. Amen. Hallelujah. We'll get it. Amen. Get it up. I, I, let me tell you, we're going to get out of here. I feel now this now this is where I just felt just then. I know I told y'all to bring it, but the Lord tell you don't bring it till you get ready to get in your house. We're not going to bring it over there. All right? And then Holy Ghost get your We're going to give you your stuff. But you won't get it till you get in your house. Amen. The Lord, he hit me right then. Yeah, no, don't. You don't want your stuff to go down. Amen. 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 And don't forget, we'll be back here Sunday morning at 11 o'clock. And join Jesus. Amen. Keep praying up. Amen. I, I'm praying to the Lord. We go in prayer, you know, some days next week. Amen. Amen. This is the Bible study we're going to lay before the Lord and cry. Amen. Get on your face. Amen. So we need this breakthrough, God. Amen. Right at the edge. Amen. Amen. Right at the edge. Amen. Amen. We thank Amen. God for it because I'm not going to be robbed and y'all ain't me. Amen. 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 Ain't going to be robbed. Father, we thank you right now. And Lord, we thank you that you let us know that we got to. Yes, no Lord. if, no but. Yes. That we got to carry our cross. Yes. And Father, I ask you now to let that anointing <coughs> of the supernatural come on, on each and every one tonight that heard the word. And that they will apply it so in you that they become so powerful and mighty in you. That the kingdom of you will build up in them like never before. Will bring delivered, bring healing. Will set the captives free. Will bring, oh God, thank you for hiding that dog. No, by sake, he come to death. He did it in my heart. Holy, I say, I call it in the see. I call it in the say. I call the did I see. They call the did I say. I call the did I say. I call the lobby did I so. I call the lobby did I so.